Hello, hello. How are you today? Welcome to our English class. I'm glad to be here with you again. Today we are going to continue working in some activities on your Richmond Learning Platform. I'm going to present you the agenda we are going to follow today. Wait me some seconds. This is the agenda we are going to follow today. For the social emotional content, I'm going to show you a video. What you have to do is watch carefully listen read the information that is going to appear in the video then um, give your opinion about it what do you understand about the video that is what you have to do now let's continue the content richmond learning platform there are some activities i'm going to present you that you have to work on it and i'm going to explain you step by step then the reflection, there's so many beautiful reasons to be happy. The objective is to practice some exercises on the platform. Let's continue. This is the social emotional content. Pay attention to the video and try to understand. One hot day, a thirsty crow was looking for some water to drink. He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find it. Can I find some water? After searching and searching, the crow finally found a bottle with some water in it. Phew! Finally, some water! The crow was excited. He couldn't wait to drink the water. But when he put his beak into the bottle, he couldn't reach the water. You see, there was only a little bit at the bottom. Even though I've found water, I still can't drink it. The thirsty crow thought for a moment and came up with a brilliant idea. Ah, yes, that's it. I'm going to drink this water once and for all. The thirsty crow picked up pebbles and dropped them into the bottle, one by one. The water inside the bottle began to rise and rise, until finally, he could drink the water. Oh, finally! Some water! Sip, sip! <sighs> and so, the thirsty crow wasn't thirsty anymore. Do you like the video? Yes or no? Yes, right? The video is, is nice. It's interesting. 
As you can see in the video, um, there is some important information you have to take into account. That is, never give up. Never give up until you can get the things you want. Let's continue with our class presentation. Now we are going to work in our Richmond Learning Platform. Wait me some seconds. I'm going to present you the activities in which we are going to work right now. Please, everyone, access to Santillana platform, then look for Richmond Learning Platform. Richmond Learning Platform. When you access to Richmond Learning Platform, you are going to look for you are going to look for Richmond Cartoon. Richmond Cartoon. Wait some seconds. Richmond Cartoons for a click in here. Then you are going to choose the dining hall. This is the exercise that you are going to develop today. The dining hall. Watch the video. This is the first exercise. Watch the video. Then you are going to continue completing the following exercises related with the video. Pay attention, please and watch the video. Hi, I'm Boris. Do you need some help? Oh, thanks. Thank you very much, Boris. I'm Natalia. Nice to meet you. Don't mention it. Oh, and nice to meet you too, Natalia. Hey, do you want to get a table together? Did you ask me if I wanted to write a fable about forever? No! What? Do you want to get a table together? I would love to. Great! What? Hey, did you know that the highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest? Oh, and that Lionel Messi is the best soccer player in the world? So, you didn't answer any of my questions. What questions? Well, I said that the highest mountain in the world is Everest, and that... <laughs> you guys are such geeks. Hey, Hobbit, you shouldn't talk so much. The giraffe can't hear you. <laughs> As I was saying, all the tables are taken. Can I sit with you guys? For sure! So, what's your name? Victoria. Yours? Nice to meet you, Victoria. I'm Boris, and this is Natalia. Yeah, nice to meet you, Victoria. I think we met earlier. I fixed your bike chain. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. Hey, giraffe, what is that black stuff? <laughs> Tell your nanny to wash your clothes. But I don't have a nanny. <laughs> well, you should get one. <laughs> well, it certainly looks like your clean clothes are helping you make friends. <laughs> I have no friends. Don't worry. We'll be your friends. 
But I don't want to be friends with a bunch of geeks. Well, this was the video. Now let's continue with the next page. What you are gonna do is look at the table. What are the kids going to have for breakfast? Listen and select the correct pictures. Listen and select the correct pictures. Let's listen the first. One. I'll have the fruit, please. Here you go. What would you like to drink? Uh, what is there? Juice, milk, or water? I'll have a glass of juice, please. Second. Two. Excuse me. I'll have a bowl of cereal, please. We don't have cereal today. Oh, do you have toast? Toast, fruit, pastries, or bacon and eggs? I'll have bacon and eggs then, and a glass of juice. Here you go. These are the options. Bacon and eggs and a glass of juice. Number three. Three. Good morning. I'll have fruit, please. Sure. And what would you like to drink? Hmm. Milk, please. Here you go. Next. Four. Uh. Can I help you? I don't know what to get. Well, the fruit is very fresh. Is there anything else? Toast. Pastry, bacon and eggs. I'll have a pastry, please. And what do you want to drink? Water, please. These are the options you have to select. Then the last five. Hi, I'd like a pastry, please. Okay. Oh, wait. We're all out. Would you like something else? Oh, that's too bad. I'll have toast then. And what would you like to drink? Do you have chocolate milk? No, I'm afraid not. Would you like regular milk? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Well, my dear students, according to the audio, these are the options you have to choose. When you finish this, we are going to click on check the answers and everything is correct. Let's continue with the next page. This is reading and speaking. What you have to do is read and select the best response. Then practice the dialogue with a friend. But in this case, you are not going to practice this dialogue because you are at home. Boris and Natalia, do you need some help? What is the correct option? What do you think? This one, this. What a bunch of gigs. I fixed your bike chain. All of things. What do you think is the correct option? This one, right? Let me see. Check the answers. Yes. Oh, thanks. Next. Thank you very much. What's the correct response? What's the best response? Thank you very much. Don't mention it. Nice to meet you or what? What? Or nice to meet you? That's wrong. We are going to try again. And thank you very much. Then we are going to choose this. This is the correct option you have to select. Don't mention it. 
Do you want to get a ta um, table together? Do you want to get a table together? I would love to. Yes, this is the answer. I would love to. Next question. Can I sit with you guys? Can I sit with you guys? For sure. What, or as I was saying, what is the best response for this question? For sure, this is a, an answer. This is an answer you can give. Can I sit with you guys? For sure. So, what's your name? I think we meet earlier. Victoria, yours, nice to meet you. What is the best response for this question? If someone asks you, what's your name? How you are gonna answer? This one, Victoria, yours? Now the next one, nice to meet you. I'm Boris and this is Natalia. We have three possible responses. You are gonna choose the correct one. What a bunch of losers. Yeah, nice to meet you, Victoria. Don't worry. The best option is this one. Yeah, nice to meet you, Victoria. Next page, writing. This is a writing activity you have to develop. And the instruction says, read, Look and write the words in the boxes. There is one example. What are the words you have to use to complete the sentences? Dining hall, name is, summer camp, and I'm having breakfast. It says, all of the kids are at summer camp. Boris is a church boy with glasses. He's at the dining hall. This is the correct option, dining hall. The kids, the kids are having, are having breakfast, are having breakfast. Boris meet a girl. Her name is Natalia. She is very tall and she has blonde hair. This is correct. Don't worry. I'm having breakfast. Ah, there is a mistake in here for that reason. I'm going to do it again. Be careful with the spelling of each word. Take notes and complete the activity. Tomen nota, chicos, y completen la actividad en la plataforma Richmond, Richmond Platform. Well, it's time to read this. Um, paragraph. Please, everyone, practice this paragraph. At the count of three, we are going to start reading. One, two, three. All of the kids are at the summer camp. Boris is a church boy with glasses. He's at the dining hall. The kids are having breakfast. Boris meets a girl. Her name is Natalia. She is very tall and she has blonde hair. Next. These are the words that you have to use. Giraffe, seed, to be friends. Look at the pictures and try to guess what is the correct word. Boris and Natalia. Boris and Natalia. Sit. Sit together at a table. Then we have, he calls Natalia. 
to be friends. To be friends, because she is tall. Then we have. Giraffe in this case. Um, he calls Natalia Giraffe because she is tall. Then the last one says he doesn't want to be friends. To be friends. To be friends. Now let's read the text. Boris and Natalia, at the count of three, once more, at the count of three, remember to read and practice pronunciation. Vamos a leer juntos, chicos, por favor. At the count of three, we are going to start. One, two, three. Boris and Natalia sit together at the table. Biggs laughs at them. He calls Natalia giraffe because she is tall. Vince is not very nice. Victoria sits down with Boris and Natalia. Vince is very rude to them. He doesn't want to be friends. And the last, this is all for today's class. Well done, click send scores to see your results. If you want to know what are your results, you are gonna click on send scores. And here we have, for listening, 80%. Then we have 100%. These are the skills that you have to practice in English language. Listening, reading, speaking, and writing. So, my dear students, this is all for today's class. If you want to ask me questions about the activities we developed today, you can do it. What do you think about the exercises you developed? Are easy, are difficult? What do you think? If you complete the activities on Richmond platform, claps for you. Well done. Excellent job. Then we are going to continue in the next class. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.